Angie Bear's Bridge Written by Andrew King Illustrated by Benjamin Johnston And read to you by Susan Burke January The kids had to sit, bored and stuck in a car. They were driven to school as the walk was too far. They'd crawl up the river and then inch back down. A footbridge was needed in their part of town. The kids told their teachers, who then told the mayor. She loved their idea and would build a bridge there. She asked Angelina, her chief engineer, for an eye-catching bridge by the end of the year. February. The bridge team made notes about different bridge kinds, then drew up a range of initial designs. At school, NG Bear showed how work had progressed and asked of the kids which designs looked the best. The kids shouted out, Pick design number four, then giggled, It looks like a big dinosaur. The team laughed as well. The best choice became clear. A dinosaur bridge. An amazing idea. March. With final designs for construction complete, Angelina developed a schedule to meet. She wrote down a list of the tasks to be done and set the team due dates for every last one. In classes at school, kids could put down their names. Then Bearbot would teach them his bridge building games. April. Site roads were graded and fences erected. Site huts were installed and the power connected. Large trees were roped off and silt traps were dug in. Work on the bridge was then set to begin. The kids helped prepare for the games to take place. They set up the tent, Bearbot's bridge building base. May. Foundations were fixed to the rock underground to stop the bridge structure from moving around. For if a bridge moved, it could buckle and skew, then crossing it would be a hard thing to do. The kids laid foundations on sand, silt and clay. All stood for a while, but with time washed away. June. Tall piers were constructed to hold the bridge high, with clearance for trucks, cars and boats to pass by. If piers were too short, it could lead to some trouble. A crash might turn parts of the bridge into rubble. The kids stood on piers that were short through to tall. The short ones were stable less likely to fall. July. The site was awash. Rain had fallen for days. The work had to stop, which was causing delays. Angelina checked progress against their deadline. Engie Bear asked her, how can we finish on time? The work could resume if they found somewhere dry. Angie Bear gave the sheds at the shipyard a try. August. The arch parts were finished in Penguin's shipyard. This made up lost time, but the transport was hard. They needed two tugs and a crane on a ship, and they had to take care that the crane did not tip. 
The kids tried some lifts with a crane on a boat and struggled to balance and keep things afloat. September. The deck was constructed for people to use on bikes or in wheelchairs, barefoot or in shoes. Decks can't be too rough though they must have good grip and their slopes must be gentle so people don't slip. The kids tested decks and enjoyed some great rides. The steepest and smoothest made wonderful slides. October. The drainage was finished with pipes, tanks and channels, while lights were plugged into the bridge solar panels. The lights would help walkers to see where they tread and help planes in the night miss the dinosaur's head. Kids walked in the dark just as if it were night, but bumped, tripped and crashed till they switched on the light. November. Load testing was needed to check the bridge strength. Equipment was placed along all of its length. The arch took the weight and the deck hardly moved. The bridge was deemed safe and its use was approved. The teachers formed bridges for kids to load test, but wobbled and shook so they all had to rest. December. In the opening speech, which was made by the Mayor, she thanked Angelina and thanked Angie Bear. She then thanked the Bear Bot, the kids and their teachers for an eye-catching footbridge with dinosaur features. The bridge linked the suburbs on both river sides. Now people could use it for walks, runs and rides. The kids enjoyed walking as school was not far, and their dinosaur bridge was more fun than a car. <laughs>